In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Monica, pray for us. Saint Rita of Kasha, pray for us. The Augustinian Septenarium for the Dead, Seven Days of Prayer for the Dead. Saint Nicholas of Tolentin fostered a profound devotion of prayer for the faithful departed, so much so that he has merited by the Church the title Patron Saint of the Souls in Purgatory. He strongly encouraged the practice of having Masses offered for the souls in Purgatory. Further, it is to him that the Augustinian tradition attributes the great devotion of the Septenarium, the seven days of prayer for the dead. We present this Augustinian devotion here. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Saint Nicholas, patron of the holy souls, pray for us. O good Jesus, mystically present upon our altars, renewing the oblation of Calvary for the sake of our salvation, we kneel in silence before you as John and your blessed mother kneeled in the silence of that terrible moment of your death on the cross. We come to plead with you while our thoughts follow you down from Calvary to the prisons where the holy souls waited through the years of your coming. We plead, dear Jesus, for the release of the poor souls now detained in the prisons of purgatory. We plead through the memory of that moment when your agonizing hearts ceased to beat on the cross. We plead through the myriads of the angels that serve you, through the myriads of the saints who surround you, through the myriads of Saint Nicholas of Tolentino, the efficacy of whose great charity 
towards the poor souls is our encouragement to approach your divine bounty. In your compassion and mercy, for those whom you have redeemed, Dean, once again, through the intercession of Saint Nicholas, to open the gates of purgatory, that the heavens may see the passing of multitudes to eternal happiness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we beseech you, O Almighty God, that your church, which is made illustrious with the glory of the prodigies and miracles of Saint Nicholas, your blessed confessor, may by his merits and intercession enjoy perpetual unity and peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You may now take your seat.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we commemorate today all the souls and of our faithful departed, we continue to pray for this fifth end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts the world, that God our Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, grant success to those working to eradicate this curse. Help us all to persevere in faith and welcome to his kingdom all pass away because of this disease. We also pray for those victims of the recent calamity, especially in Central Luzon. We remember today all the intentions of the pilgrims and devotees of Senor Santo Nino. Brothers and sisters, let's now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, yes, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection of your departed servants also find you strength. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if in the sight of others, indeed, they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed. Because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them. And as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble, and they shall judge nations and rule over peoples. And the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want in burden pastures he gives me For his name's sake, even though I walk in the dark, dark valley, I feel no evil. For you are at my side, with your rod and your staff, that give me courage. table before me in the sight of my foes you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows though I walk in the valley I fear no evil, though you 
and goodness follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the hands of the Lord for years to come the Lord in the valley of darkness I fear no evil for you are with me A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans Brothers and sisters If God is for us who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine? or nakedness, or peril, or the sword? No, in all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come, Spirit of Life, come, Spirit of Truth. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. 
Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mayong buntag kanatong tanan. Today we celebrate the remembrance of our departed brothers and sisters in a very special way. And we know that uh, this is also thought of as a continuation of what we celebrated yesterday, the solemnity of the saints. As we can recall in our creed, in our Apostles' Creed, in the profession of faith that we recite every Sunday, and during solemnities, the last four articles of faith speak a lot concerning, concerning these two big celebrations of our faith. Kaning adlaw sa mga santos o adlaw sa mga mitaliwan na itong mga igsuon. Mani ang four articles of faith na naghatag na ito o direksyon na nga itong isaulog. Belief in the communion of the saints. Manang una, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the dead, and the life everlasting. All of these articles of faith speak the basis of our celebration. In the solemnity of the saints, we believe that we are united with our brothers and sisters who are now living in glory in heaven. And while they are in heaven right now, they continue to intercede for us to God. Manang itaw sila ang atong mga intercessors, ang mga santos. They are also models or examples for us all in living out our faith fully. So natay, sadang natay, napatay mga intercessors, napatay mga ehemplo sa pagpuyo sa maayong kinabuhi. In their humanity, God's mercy had been working as they were made by God through His grace, worthy of His kingdom. Through these saints, we celebrate the triumph of God in reigning in the hearts of those human beings who were like us, sinners. Huwag dili dahi ngit-ngit ang kaugmaon sa tao bisan pa natay mga kasalanan. Tuod kay naa ang kaluoy sa ginoo. Huwag ka mga santos nga atong inumduman gapon nagpahinamdum na ito usab na samtang sayutang makakasala ta. A panindot na itong itahan ang atong kagalingon nga na sa puangod o kaluoy sa ginoo. Aroon kita may sama kanila na karoon triumphant diha sa gingarian sa Diyos. No? So muna nga, it is precisely God who is being honored when we celebrate the saints. Kaya kung di patungo sa ginoo, di maingana ang kinabuhi sa mga santos. Di may nga na ang kinabuhi sa mga makasala ng mitaliwan. Una na to. It is in the same sense that our celebration today, ang celebration sa pag-commemorate sa mga mitaliwan na tumayag soon, takes its meaning also. The Church celebrates this day taking in mind that same mercy of God. God's love is indeed everlasting. This has conquered even death 
itself in the death of Jesus Christ. Namo na sa atong uh, second reading today. Uh, Saint Paul reflects a lot on this grace of God. Kinsamayin, og unsamay, makapahilayo ka na to sa gugma sa Diyos. Mayingon si Paul, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. Suninod kayo nga nining atong paghandom sa atong mga members familia, mga kaila, mga higala, mga minahal sa kinabuhi ng metaliwa na atong gibarugan pag-ayo kining article of faith na to, kining life everlasting. Kabisan nga, physically, wala na sila magkuyog na to. O dili na na to sila makita physically. But we know life is not ended in death. No? Dili matapos ang kinabuhi diha sa kamatayon. O mani, ang hiyong ng St. Paul in our second reading. Walay makapahimulag ka na to sa kukma sa Diyos. Na, may padayon pag-reflect sa St. Paul no? that in the death and resurrection of Christ, we are given the promise of newness of life. Nga diya sa pagbanhaw ni Kristo o gaya pagsaka sa langit, gaya tagantag saad sa kabaguhan sa kinabuhi. Manamingon siya in the Romans, in his letter to the Romans, chapter 3, verse, at chapter 6, verse 3. Manamingon, nagkanayon sa St. Paul. We were indeed buried with him, with Jesus, through baptism into death. So that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. So man, ang kaulugan sa atong gina-profess every Sunday, every solemnity, kanang creed, yung sahay baya kay mechanical na kayo ang atong pag-recite ng ini, no? Murag, war at kasabot sa atong gisulti. Ang atong nasabtan lang, I believe on God, Anya, everlasting life, amen. Anara. Apo na kung atong tanahon, labi ni kining last four, o oh, kaya nga tanahon, importante kayo kay foundations of faith na ito. Pero on this uh, celebration, kining last four articles of faith, naghatag din na ito o pondasyon sa atong uh, kinabuhi ng Kristuhanon. Ilabi na sa sagutanan ni ining newness of life, to be given by God, by God to us as promised in the resurrection of His Son, Jesus Christ. Ugmana niya sa atong profession of faith. Brothers and sisters in Christ, our celebration today does not only give us the opportunity to remember our departed brothers and sisters. This also reminds us to live our lives more meaningfully as we continue our pilgrimage here on earth. No? We are reminded to live our lives more meaningfully whether we like it or not. One day, we will all die. It is just a matter of time that we leave this earthly stage of our existence. The manner of dying for us may be different, but we need to remember this always, that God has something very good that has in store for all of us. Not to be fulfilled in this life, in this present life, but in the fullness of His time. Dito, sa lugar na din nagmalipayo na ang mga angeles o ang mga santos. In the fullness of His time. Kasagaran na to, 
atong gikahadlukan ang kamantayon. Yes, partly, we need to be fearful of death. Pero, hindut po dito ang usahay, no? that we think about our death. Because thinking our death will help us live our life fully and more meaningfully here on earth. Di ba? Kung di ita magunuhon na ng mga mata ita, basin kong hapigula kira ta. No? Kana bang ginayangon sa sa bingay, sa bisaya? Basin diha na ta manguros na naigod na ta sliti. What was about thinking that we will die would lead us to make sense with our life every moment. At aga na itong kahulugan, kanunay. Huwag ang tanang mga natong binuhatan, mamahin mo siyang pagpangandam alang sa nindot na giandam sa gino dito sa iyang kingarian. As we pray for our beloved dead today, we should not fail to remember that death is a passage towards life everlasting. Nga dili din ni, dili ni mong kasamtangang kahimtang nga itong mabatunan ang life everlasting. Mabitaw na kung sa misa sa patay, gabantay mo kayang towards the end, na ay special prayer ang pari before magbindita ang pari o ang mga relatives na ay part ito nga mayingon nga one day we shall see our brother or sister again no? kabantay mo na mayingon ang pari prayer nagpray siya sa father na mo nang itugya ng mga magsuon uguban sa pagtuo o paglaom kami naglaom nga magkahiusa kami uban sa mong igsuon nga mipanaw diha sa imong gingarian. So ang pagpanaw nato gikanin kinabuhi ah, as I mentioned is a passage towards life everlasting and we need to prepare for that passage to come. No? We need to prepare for that passage to come. Among the preparations could be letting go of the things that cannot bring us to heaven. Letting go, God. Tapat katiga kita mo let go sa mga dili essential sa gingarian sa langit. Susama sa greed. Susama sa lust. Susama sa unforgiveness, hatred, bitterness, so on and so forth. Mga na mga butangan nga makababag na to sa pagsuod sa gingarian sa Diyos. O gato ng biyaan Samtang may panahon pa. These things can only block us from truly experiencing God's promise. Every moment is a moment filled with the grace of God. No? Kada huyog to sa tukinabuhi, naaday grasa sa ginoo. O gong di tam ulit go na lang mga butang na dili iya, sayang ang matag yugto kay katong matagyugto nga milabay na di na mahibalik pag-usab every moment is a moment filled with the grace of God we only need to cooperate with this grace so that in every moment of our lives we place ourselves in the hands of God's mercy leading us up towards eternity. Please all stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended, he ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, God the, Father the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. We believe in the communion of saints, confident in that act of faith. Let us reach out in prayer for all who have passed away, especially those who need the charity of our intercessions. In every prayer, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church on earth may never forget the church waiting for the final glory in eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That light and peace may be given to the souls of those who never knew Christ in this life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who fear death may find hope in the risen Christ and his cleansing forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who mourn over the loss of their loved ones may be consoled as they pray for the souls of their beloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That a servant of God, Teofilo Kamumut Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Signor Santo Nino, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our country and in the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all indirect patient care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For decision makers at all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died because of the pandemic, and those who grieve their loss and isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the mercy revealed in purgatory may deepen our trust in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of life, we command into your care the souls of those who wait to share in the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands with the praise and glory for our good and the good of all this holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son. It is a great mercy of love we are all united 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone, he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we all proclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, one with the man in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Oh, 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Amen. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits roaming around the world, 
seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy angels in heaven, pray for us. Responsory for the dead. Do not remember our sins, O Lord. When you come to judge the world by fire, direct our way in your sight, O Lord our God. When you come to judge the world by fire, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them. When you come to judge the world by fire, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, from the gates of hell. Deliver their souls, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lord, welcome into your presence your servants, whom you have called from this life. Release them from all their sins. Bless them with eternal light and peace. Raise them up to live forever with all your saints in the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Yeah.